My name is Damien Schiff and I'm an attorney at Pacific Legal Foundation. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service in 1988 listed the Stevens kangaroo rat as an endangered species under the Endangered Species Act. The rat is found in parts of Riverside County and San Diego County in California. Because the rat has been a listed species for over 20 years, a number of onerous land use restrictions have been imposed on private landowners throughout Southern California. These restrictions have led, in some cases, to folks being unable to do the normal fire prevention brush clearing activities that they would otherwise do to keep their livestock, keep their properties free from wildfire devastation. Also, these restrictions imposed because the kangaroo rat is a protected species have stopped a number of important infrastructure and development projects in the region. Well, the Farm Bureau, the Riverside County Farm Bureau, was fed up with these restrictions and filed a delisting petition with the service back in 1995. The petition was fairly straightforward in what it was arguing. One, plenty of rats out there. Two, plenty of rat habitat. Well, the service never got around to responding to that Farm Bureau petition, even though under the law it's required to respond initially within 90 days. In fact, nothing had happened until Pacific Legal Foundation filed a lawsuit on behalf of the Farm Bureau demanding immediate action. Well, this lawsuit was settled earlier this year with an agreement that the service would issue a final decision on the Farm Bureau's petition to delist the kangaroo rat this month. Well, today, the service published its finding, and unfortunately, the service has decided to keep the rat on the endangered species list. Unfortunately, the service has completely ignored the main thrust of the Farm Bureau's argument, which is that the rat should never have been listed in the first place because there are plenty of rats out there and plenty of rat habitat. So now PLF and the Farm Bureau are looking at the service's decision closely to decide whether a follow-up lawsuit is in order. If you'd like to know more about this case and other cases that we handle here at the Foundation, please visit our website, pacificlegal.org, and our Liberty blog, plf.typad.com. For more PLF videos, visit our YouTube channel.